morning everyone happy saturday so um a lot of people ask me um how i style my hair so today i'm gonna do another video that is like my 19th video of telling people and letting people know how to style their hair that's so easy less effort and it lasts for all day so you're gonna see these funny little rollers in my hair they're called hot rollers and uh, what they do is that they help to set the hair now back in like the 80s or the 50s or the 60s um, people go to the hair salon and get their hair set and they would put it in rollers similar to this and then they would last for a week and then they come back the following week to get the hair reset again so that was back in the day, especially with ladies who like to have these nice volume and these nice loose curls. So nowadays, um, we have hot rollers that's heated. So therefore, um, this is how I style my hair with these hot rollers. So these are the rollers right here and these are the clips. So when you roll them up, then you are able to clip them uh, to stay in place. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight i think there's eight or nine in there and because my hair is long but if your hair is shorter then you can just use five or four and this honestly is the best hair styling uh, tools so this can only go on dry hair so please um if you're using hot rollers don't use it on um sorry it's my allergy season and i have been dying um you know with stuffy nose and coughing so don't mind me so with the hot rollers never ever use it when it's half dry or still have a bit of a dampness because these are heated rollers now when they are heated they're only warm they're not like hot hot like a flat iron or a curling iron so anything that you use on that, your hair that has heat you must must have it completely dry guys unless if you're blow drying with a brown brush because that's airflow <laughs> sorry if it's airflow then you know you can style when it's damp but any hot tools any like heated flat iron curling iron um hot rollers must be used on 100 percent dry hair now even though after you wash your hair and it's completely dry there's still a bit of moist inside the cuticle like inside the hair so it's more easier to uh, mold the hair into shapes that you like as opposed to if you didn't wash your hair for two days so that's like completely completely dry inside out sorry oh. so i have like um eight no nine weeks old little puppy right there she is um so i just adopted Belle, and uh, she's still a puppy so she's i uh, haven't known the rules yet but she's right there see bell bell come come she only come when there's candies so okay i was gonna show you her but she's not coming so long story short if you're using hot rollers, flat iron, curling iron, anything that's heated, please use it on um, completely dry hair or at least 99.9% .9 dry, okay? So I set my hair like this, as you can see, um, with these hot rollers and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just roll them in there. The important part, okay, is not the at the roots, it's here. So this is the clip that comes with the hot rollers. And then when you roll them out, okay, it looks like this. Ta-da! See? So this is how your hair looks after you set them in hot rollers. If it wasn't, it would be frizzy and, uh, you know, like, very bad looking frizzy unruly but when you set it with hot rollers you get this beautiful smooth this would have taken me like half an hour if i were to use the um, round brush and the blow dryer so definitely um, having this is very handy and 
for ladies, you know, you don't have to walk around with bad hair day. You know, styling your hair is super easy if you know how to do it. So I am a hair doctor and I always tell my client, like, you know, if you have any hair questions, if you have, if you don't like your hair because it's hard to style, um, message me. I'll be happy to consult. I would be happy to advise you. It'd be great. I love what I do. So therefore, if you have any hair questions, um, you know, I like to, sh for my clients, I like to teach them how to, I style their hair so that they can get the same result when they get home. Belle! No! And um, also, I always send them home with a prescription, hair prescription. So like a family doctor who takes care of your body, I am a passionate hair doctor. That if you're coming to me, my clients, I like to teach them how to style their hair so they can love their hair every day. Um, if their hair is damaged or their hair is not healthy, I usually give them a hair product prescription to bring home. And especially nowadays, people color their hair like no tomorrow and, you know, their hair gets dry. So they have, you can't not wear anything on your head. Like you, can, you cannot walk outside without sunscreen. So you cannot go around and not having protected, you know, leave-in conditioner or serum or anything that helps to protect your hair because your hair is like your skin. So if you don't protect it, it gets dry, it gets uh, breakage, it gets split ends, and it becomes a, a huge nightmare. So make a hair routine care as part of your daily life. Just like you wake up, you brush your teeth, you would shampoo, conditioner, and the spray a leave-in hair protector okay it's just simple as that so now I'm gonna take out my rollers for you to see okay when I take them out they look this okay I have done millions of videos on how to put your hair in hot rollers so you can definitely watch that on my YouTube but pay attention to these two right here so I cut a bit of like a face framing um, you know around my face right now it's a bit curly but it will uh, soften down so the reason why I have these parts is that I usually uh, put my hair up and I like to have some face framing around my jawline to hide all these chubby cheeks from drinking too much bubble tea and ham ang um, I've gained like eight pounds no when I was in Vietnam I gained about 15 I came back to Toronto because the food wasn't good as Vietnam, so I lost weight. But I'm still gain. I still gain about eight pounds compared to how I was before. So I have these like chubby cheeks right here. So these framing help to kind of slim down my chubbiness. Okay. Now the reason why I had to curl these separately because they are shorter than these guys. So if I were to curl it with these, I won't be able to get this. So these two, uh, I highly recommend you to do them separately. And you get this really nice face framing. And the reason why I use hot rollers is because I can blow dry my hair with a round brush. And after half an hour, it goes straight and frizzy. So it's the hot rollers. And you wonder why the hot roller stays. It is because it goes from hot, warm, to cool so the hair is wrapped around the hot rollers and it went it was from hot to cool so the hair has time to mold and hold its shape whereas when you blow dry with a round brush you're holding the brush and you just let it out within like 30 seconds so therefore it ha the hair has not the cuticle of the hair and the hair has not been able to form completely but when you do hot rollers I usually leave them in for about five 10 or 15 minutes or even an hour if I'm not going anywhere yet I will leave it in there and it has that long time to set and when it's able to set it keeps the curl and you see how nice and bouncy and smooth that looks that is the goal so I'm going to take this out so you can see the hair. I just got my new set of hair extension put in by Lilo. Um, so at our salon, the Scada Salon, our address is 2391 Bloor Street West. 
Um, we have hair extension service and I can honestly proudly say we do the best hair extensions by far technique, okay? I'm not saying that we're the best one in Toronto because that's up to you as a client to, to judge, but we can proudly say we use the best up-to-date, most healthy uh, method of hair extensions to give our client that best luxurious and comfort service, okay? So when I take out my hair extensions, let me show you. So happy Saturday, everyone. It's raining outside, which sucks, um, but oh well. You have rainy days to water the trees, uh, the plant, the grass. So when you have rainy days, you appreciate sunny days. So here you go. Look at my little girl right there. Okay, so here's the hair after I um, roller set it. And you can see how much bouncy. Watch her, watch her crawl into the fence. See that? <laughs> um, okay, so this is the hair looks after I set them in hot rollers. Lots of body, lots of movement. Uh, see? And from here, you can wear it down like this, or you can pin it up like this, and it looks really cute. See? And that is how I style my hair extensions. Ta-da! So I have about like 350 grams of hair extensions in my hair. So that's why you see there's so much hair and so voluminous. Um, I wasn't born and blessed with thick, full head of hair. But the good thing is I'm in the hair industry, in the beauty industry, so it helps. So those of you who don't have nice hair, suffer from thin hair, short hair, uh, bad haircuts, you know, there is a solution, which is hair extensions. And in my case, the hair extension is my lifesaver. Um, I was born with very thin, straggly, um, oily type of hair. And it's it's been a, you know, like a insecurity that I had throughout my whole life, especially in high school. So after finish um, college, I went to hair school and become a hairstylist. You know, there are ways that you can take care of your hair and you can get voluminous hair even if you weren't born with it. So those of you who suffer from thin, uh, straggly, damaged, unhealthy hair, just know that there are solutions. Talk to your hairstylist, uh, see there's see options out there so that you don't have to live life with bad hair day. And I can honestly say hair makes a world of a difference. You know, I always say people who are angry, uh, jealousy, mean, not happy, always cranky and, you know, hating life, a lot of them usually have bad hair days, you know, because when you look good and you feel good and you're happy, you don't go around hurting people and, you know, you don't go around wasting your time, you know, breaking relationships, dra causing drama and, and, you know, making this world distress. When you're happy, when you look good, when you feel beautiful, when you feel confident, when you love life, all you want to do is make this life beautiful for you and for everybody. And speaking from my own experience, um, you know, after having hair extensions and, you know, taking care of my hair, and I have to say my hair is like a mortgage. Um, but again, you know, you pick your own battles and you pick your own priorities. You know, I don't wear brand name stuff. I buy cheap stuff from like drift store or online sale stuff. But you know what? I have a million dollar hairstyle, a million dollar hair look. And that's enough. Like if your hair looks good, anything you wear will look great, right? So I always say, if you're angry with life, if you're one of those people who likes to cause drama and hatred and war and whatever, usually because you have a bad hair day. Get a good hairstyle. Go get your hair done. Go wash your hair. Go feel good. Go do do things to make yourself feel happy. 
and then you won't go around hating the world. So, if you're in Toronto, uh, there are a lot of hairstylists um, out there, but uh, I'm one of them in Toronto. So if you're coming to Toronto and you want to have a hair consultation and you want to come and see me, I'd love to see you. But if you don't see me for whatever reason and it's inconvenient because I'm far away or my location is not close to you, then I also know a few hairstylist friends who are very good um, that I can refer you. I refer hairstylists all the time because you know what? You can't hog and you can't, you know, keep all the clients to yourself. There's 12 hours a day that a hairstylist work. And you know what? Sometimes, like many times when I can't do it, I always refer to somebody. So, so, so it's good to network and it's also to support your fellow workers or your fellow uh, stylists, right? So all in all, um, this is how I style my hair and I get so many compliments, people asking me. And it's just as simple as using a hot rollers. Yep, there go the kids. Okay, uh, th there goes them. And you built this um, fence for us, right? So, so that they don't, you know, go down the stairs and trip and fall. And this is what they're doing to his fence. See that? They're chewing up. Anyway, um, so to get this look, all you need is hot rollers. And uh, my boss, Vincy. My boss, Vince, he sells this at the salon, so if you want the same one I have, uh, feel free to uh, message me and we can uh, order for you. Or you can find other ones from Amazon or online, but I find that they don't last as long. This roller set that I have has been around for, honestly, more than 13 years and it's still going. Right? So, quality. You get what you pay for. So, happy su Saturday, everyone. Um, can't believe it's the last weekend of May. Uh, then there's June, and then there's July, and then the end of July is the taste of Vietnam. Like, we are eight weeks from the important days of my life. And every year, as Taste of Vietnam Festival approaches, you know, it's crazy busy, and it's, but it's so fun. And this year, our theme is wedding. And, oh, okay, so those of you who don't know, we, um, I'm part of an organization that help advocates against human trafficking and child exploitation. And uh, that's Better Futures for Kids. And Better Future for Kids and Outside Canada are the co- organizer of the Taste of Vietnam Festival, which is the end of July in Toronto, and the Tastes of Southeast Asia Festival, which is happening the end of September. And both are charitable uh, organization run, and the festival is to help celebrate Asian cultures, but mainly to advocate against human trafficking and child exploitation. So with the Taste of Vietnam and the Tastes of Southeast Asia, um, we're able to be a bigger voice. So um, we're getting ready for the Taste of Vietnam coming up. And uh, it's, this year is a lovey-dovey theme, everyone. Um, Taste of Vietnam is having a wedding festival. So you're going to experience three days of a big fat wedding um, from Bắc Trung and Nam, which is north central and south of Vietnam so that you can experience next time when you go to a Vietnamese wedding you know why they're doing this and this and we have a VIP area right in front of the stage and you get to serve uh, wedding food um, it's gonna be a beer garden as well so if you like to drink beer in that area in front of the stage um, you get to get the VIP front seat so it feels like you are going to a wedding reception and if you have a boyfriend, a husband, a lover, and you're planning to get married, please get married during the last week of July so that you can go into City Hall because our event is at Nathan Phillips Square, which is like in front of City Hall. 
So go into City Hall, get married, get your marriage license, and then come out to the Taste of Vietnam Festival, wedding festival, and celebrate with us. You're gonna have like over 40,000 people uh, celebrating your wedding. So I think that's absolutely so fun. So we're approaching the Taste of Vietnam and uh, I've been listening to like lovey-dovey music, which is like a little too mushy for me. Um, and uh, you know, we have been wedding shopping and it, it's, it's fun. Like the whole team, we're, we're getting into that wedding, lovey-dovey, romantic um, spirit because it is Taste of Vietnam Wedding Festival. So if you have your anniversaries, 10 years, 5 years, 20 years, 30 years, even 60 years, um, let us know, email us and say, hey, my name is so-and-so, this year is my 50th wedding anniversary. Can I participate or can I? Can you celebrate with me? And our team at Taste Vietnam will be happy to celebrate with you because, you know, a love that lasts more than three years to me is a huge dedication because nowadays people don't stay together, you know, marriage don't last. And if you can stand someone for like more than five years, it's worth celebrating. So. Um, you know, tell friends and family, Taste of Vietnam, this year theme is wedding festival, guys. It's a big fat wedding. And if you're coming to the Taste of Vietnam as a guest, please wear your best gown, your best costume, your best outfit, because um, there's going to be so much beautiful wedding decorations at Nathan Phillips Square for the Taste of Vietnam that you will feel as if it was your wedding. And come dress up beautifully and take photos and you know it's a community event and it is helping to raise awareness against human trafficking and child exploitation so i wish and i hope and i want to see you there so that's the taste of vietnam uh in toronto and then the taste of the southeast asia festival is happening at celebration square mississauga at the end of september so same concept, but with the Taste of Southeast Asia, you're looking at 22 plus countries of uh, Asia. Whereas the Taste of Vietnam, you know, we have Vietnam and friends, but it's not as much as the Taste of Southeast Asia. But both festivals are uh, having the same theme, which is love festival and wedding festival. So this year, guys, it is a lovey-dovey uh, because it's the year of the dragon. So dragon represent like Phoenix and dragon in Asian cultures, like, you know, husband and wife and all that stuff. So uh, you get to know more and learn more about Asia, Asian cultures. Um, so save the date. I'll leave the link. No, I'll leave the poster details below this video in the comment. And please save the date, invite your friends, bring your kids. All of our festival is kids friendly and seniors friendly so um feel free to bring your mom your grandparents your kids everybody it's a fun event and we are looking for volunteers so if your kids are in school they want their community service hours let them know to participate with taste of vietnam and taste of southeast asia because they're gonna get to learn hands-on work and the spirit of a community working together so um yep parents if you can't train them at home send them to us and we can train them and we can help guide them and teach them how to be more social and how to do things and how to interact so parents if you have kids if they're home playing games on their ipad and or just a little anti-social introduce them to us send them to us uh, we are a Better Futures for Kids Foundation, like the name of our organization. We love kids. And they, kids, children, they are our next generation. And um, we love them. And we love your kids. So uh, send them to us if they want some experience, community hours, um, so that they can learn how to work as a team and be part of a community. 
be part of a community. So, um, wishing everyone a wonderful weekend. Happy Saturday. Uh, we're reaching to the end of May. So, May is Asian Heritage Month, as we all know. And I just want to, you know, shout out there. Happy Asian Heritage Month to all the Asians out there. Um, and um, wish you all the best. And don't forget um, to style your hair. Okay, so those of you who asked me about my hair, here is my 19th video that I have uh, talked about and show you how I style my hair. So, and even if you put it up, it looks super cute. And then you can put a little bow here and look like the 19, you know, 60s kind of uh, girl. But uh, there you go. Ta-da! All right, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a good hair day. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Much love. Uh, big hugs. Create love, not drama. Create love, not hatred. Create love and not war. So, peace. Mwah. Love you all. Bye.